Hey guys, this is Jim Kay and 4YCD and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. So we've talked about fangs on and off on Coffee and Ham radios. I've talked about fangs on my channel. I've said this is a better fang than this kind of fang. Are all fangs created equal? Well, what I wanted to do was a side-by-side a -side comparison of the UV5R, which has been around forever, and the newer Precious professional FM transceiver that is the UV6R and see if this is any better. I have the spectrum analyzer here and I'm going to rearrange the camera here in a second so we've got a better view of the screen of the spectrum analyzer. When we're looking for a radio to see if it has harmonics or spurious emissions that meet or exceed the FCC standard, we're talking about part 97.307 um, subpart D paragraph E specifically, and I'll roll in a graphic of that so you can read the actual words. Okay, so what we're interested in here is Title 47, Chapter 1, Subchapter D, Part 97, Subpart D, Part 97.307, Paragraph E. And this whole section here has to do with emission standards in Part 97. And what we are concerned with is this section right here. So the mean power of any spurious emission from a station transmitter or external RF power transmitting between 30 and 225 megahertz must be at least 60 dB below the mean power of the fundamental. For a transmitter, this is important, having a mean power of 25 watts or less, your HT, the mean power of any spurious emission supplied to the antenna transmission line must not exceed 25 microwatts and must be at least 40 dB below the mean power of the fundamental emission, but need not be reduced below the power of 10 microwatts. So on our fangs, anything greater than 25 microwatts and a transmitter built before April 15th, 1977, so some old ass radio you have, is exempt. And if it was built before 1970, April of 1977 and marketed before January of 78, it is exempt from this requirement completely. So that is a huge deal. But for radios under 25 watts, the, fundament the fundamental is going to be X power and the harmonics need to be greater than 40 dB less than the fundamental and not exceed 25 microwatts of power. Now 25 microwatts ain't a lot, but we can see that on the uh, spectrum analyzer here and we'll take a look at that and see what that looks like. I've got the analyzer already set up. These four markers, I only have four available on this particular machine. These are set for the primary, the second, third, and fourth harmonics. And then down here we'll have the values of those markers so we can look at it and read numbers instead of trying to count graticules on the scope. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to expect on this, so I'll be surprised with you. I was unaware until a few months ago that paragraph E of part 97.307, subpart D, indicated that it had to be 25 microwatts or less of power and less than 40 dBm, or greater than 40 dBm below the fundamental. I was only aware that it had to be 40 dBm or greater below the fundamental. So I may have been in error and not 100% accurate on previous videos. Now the other thing I will say, when you're talking about something like these things on low power, I'm pretty sure they're both probably going to meet at least the 25 microwatts or less. On high power, they may poach it. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to find out here in a minute. And I will throw out, in my case, personally, my shop is out here in the metal building. I live in the county. There is no one near me that is going to be interfered with by me blasting out a few extra microwatts of power on a bow fang. That being said, I probably would not carry one of these, especially after we see our tests, I would not carry one of these in a crowded area full of hams, like Hamvention. I would carry a 
a nice radio like a FT5D or a Kenwood or a Icom, something like that. Um, these are nice little radios and they're good for certain purposes. If you can keep it on low power and you're in an area where you're going to tamp all that power down and not let it even radiate, it's probably fine to use it. I'm not telling you that it's good. I'm telling you it is what it is. And I'm pretty sure that I'm not interfering with anybody. That's me personally. Your mileage may vary. So the first test we're going to do is the UV5R. What I'm going to do is hook it up to the um, spectrum analyzer as soon as I find my adapter. We're ready to start our test. I have the 5R hooked up. We're going to be on 146.52. I am in a metal building out away from civilization and we're transmitting into this anyway. So we're on, we're on high power. And here is our readings in dBm. And you can see we have some pretty noticeable harmonics here on 2 and 3. But if we look at this, we're 34 dBm on our fundamental, minus 23, minus 26, and minus 45 on the second, third, and fourth harmonics. Uh, 23 plus 34 is 56, so that is 56 dBm below the fundamental frequency. Now let's switch our scale, our units, over to watts. And we can see that those fundamentals are, are, excuse me, those frequencies, those harmonics and the fundamental, all meet our standard. They are greater than 40 dB down and they are less than 25 microwatts. So believe it or not, on high power, the UV5R passed. Amazing. I would not have put money on that. All right, now if we go to low power on this radio, let me jump in the menu. There we go. All right, here's low power on the, on the UV5R. So 1.35 watts of fundamental, and then our harmonics are 1.6, and then those two are in nanowatts, 352 nanowatts and 22 nanowatts, so very negligible. Let's jump that scale back over to dBm. And you can see we are, even at low power, we are greater than 40 dBm below. So believe it or not, the 5R passed. Amazing. Um, not as terrible as I thought. All right, let's take a look at our UV6R. Now, I, you know, there are a billion vendors who sell these things on Amazon. And... A lot of the Chinese vendors have a habit of copying other Chinese vendors. So I'm sure there are fake Baofengs. Maybe this is a real Baofeng. Your mileage may vary. This is our UV6R. Frequency mode. The same caveat goes for this that goes for the UV5R. There are many vendors. I will put links to these two particular radios in the description below. So if you're interested in one of them, you can pick it up on Amazon. So here is our UV5R. We are on, I believe, high power. We are. Power confirmed. And let's key up and see what it looks like with dBm. 35 dBm for our fundamental. Minus 25 for our second. Minus 22 for our third. Minus 35 dBm for our fourth harmonic. We are actually seeing a fifth and sixth harmonic here, but I don't have markers on them. I could roll one over and we could look, but you can see how they compare to two and three, which are the gravy markers. So let's take a look at this now uh, in watts. So let's change our unit to watts. And you can see that we have 3.49 watts, 2.5 microwatts, 4.5 microwatts and 293, or, well, it's jumping around. Somewhere between 200 and 250 nanowatts on the fourth harmonic. Now, just for entertainment purposes, let's move marker number four over and take a look at these other two. Nine hundred uh, one one microwatt. And this guy is going to be a little more than the number four, but not much. 670 nanowatts. So not significant in any way at all. So this is on high power. 
This passes. Let me move it to low power. Menu. Power. Confirm. And this is low power on our UV6R. <clears throat> and again, we see we see a little extra harmonics in there or spurs, I would say. I don't I don't know what you would call those. They're a little bigger than number 4 though. And we have 1.17 watts. 800 nanowatts, 200 nanowatts, 173 nanowatts. And if we change our scale over to dBm, 30 dBm minus 30, that's 61 dBm difference. Uh, 66, 67 dBm below and 69 to 70 dBm below. So pretty cool. Both of them actually passed. I am a little surprised. So both of these are decent little radios. These are not the worst ones I've ever tested. And um, now that we understand the spec, we can say that these are both within the standard of the FCC uh, Part 97 guidelines. Guys, I will roll in a picture somewhere in this video of the words from Part 97 and share with you. I will put links below in the description. And that is going to be all I have for this video. Y'all, I appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. 73.